Hello, welcome to Falcon Weekly here on BGSUFalcons.com. I'm Evan Pivnik, joined by the head coach of the Bowling Green Falcons, Chris Bergeron. Coach, successful week, uh, weekend in the first round of the WCHA playoffs against uh, Northern Michigan. Assess the weekend in, 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 as a whole. Well, as a whole, it was good. We found a way to win two games and uh, took care of the first round, which, is, which was the goal going into the weekend. Friday night wasn't very good. You know, in our opinion, we left it to chance. I think we were able to create some opportunities, but our, our defending was poor. Our play with the puck from a defensive standpoint was poor. Um, but we found a way. Tommy Burke made some big saves, and we got lucky, bounced to tie it up late in the game, and then scored a really nice goal in overtime. I thought Saturday we played better. Um, we limited their opportunities, at least for the second half of the game. I thought there was, there was uh, segments of the game where they came and pushed really hard, and now early comes to mind. Um, but I thought we did a pretty good job of doing what we needed to do and uh, going in the third period with a lead where three weeks ago we weren't able to hold the lead either night against that team. Uh, we were able to not only hold the lead but build on it. So all in all, happy with the weekend. Now you say the team finds a way to win. Does that kind of sum up the way the team's played this year, the relentless aspect of the game? Well, I don't look at the way we played Friday as a summation of how we played on the year. I, we didn't play very well. We found a way to win. I think we played pretty good hockey over the course of the year. Uh, I do think there's been opportunities where we found ways to win. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, everyone says it's a, it's a sign of a good team when you can still win a game and not be at your best. And I, I don't think that's been our season. Um, I think Friday night we weren't at our best and we found a way to win. And that, uh, that's something that we needed to do. But uh, like I said, I don't necessarily think it's a snapshot of our season. I think our season, we've, we've had a good year. Um, more times than not, the nights we didn't play well, we lost. And the nights we played OK, we won. Uh, now, this past weekend, saw a lot of freshmen scoring. It's, it's got to be nice to know that all four classes can really uh, put you know, pucks in the net and get on scoreboard. Yeah, that's no different than what we've had all year. Um, if it's not this guy, it's that guy. If it's not this class, it's that class. And um, we've done it by by committee uh, once again. Um, and, and this weekend was no different. Tommy Burke got to start for the Falcons for both nights. It's just the way he played, kept the team in for a lot of the game. Yeah, I thought he played well. Um, they had a bunch of chances on Friday night. And obviously, game one of a series like that is very pivotal, especially in our own rink. And I didn't love their second goal. I, I, I thought there, there was a bad angle, a really good shot, but a bad angle. And other than that, I thought he played solid. I mean, the, the three goals he gave up, two of them were breakaways, and, and, uh, and one was that, the, the, the bad angle shot. Uh, uh, so all in all, I think Tony played well. And, and you look at it, somebody that finds a way to win games, that's Tony Burke. I mean, he has, he has done that his whole career here. He's found a way to win games, and, and uh, he was able to win a couple this weekend. Now, for the second straight year in a row, the Falcons are going to the WCHA Final Five. It's got to mean a lot to you as a coach. It does. It does. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm a firm believer that the more times you're in situations like this, uh, the better you'll be the next time. And, um, for the seniors, it's the third time in our league's Final Four uh, in their four years. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, they, they, we went to Joe Louis Arena as freshmen, and as you say, last year in, in Grand Rapids, and then this year in St. Paul. Um, we want to go there with a the mindset that there's a championship that we've got stake and, and, and we're, we're playing for something. And we'll kind of leave the, the national tournament conversation. We'll just leave it there. I mean, we've talked about it. There's no elephant in the room with our group. We know that we're kind of an on the bubble team. And um, what we can control is, is ourselves. And that starts Friday. Uh, obviously, Friday playing Michigan Tech, a team that you faced only twice this season since uh, they didn't come here and we played uh, up in Houghton. What is the mindset going into this weekend? How do you plan on uh, attacking the Huskies the same way as it was back in January? Yeah, I mean, uh, th we've only played them twice this year. We've played them six times last year. I mean, this is a team that we know and I think we've developed the rivalry with. And I don't want to, again, I don't want to speak for them. We look at them as somebody we want to be like. And they've been a top 10 team all year long. I don't know if they've gone below six or seven in terms of uh, any of the polls. They're, they're a really good team. They're, they're, they're older guys. Uh, I mean, Tanner Carroll comes to mind. He's the top player in the league, and they've got a really good goaltender. Um, they, they defend extremely well. And, you know, it, 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 there's lots of challenges. But the mindset is uh, we've got to play our game. We, we need to chip pucks by them. We need to be hard on pucks. We need to defend hard. Uh, we need to be strong in the special teams. Uh, I'm sure no different than their mindset, but for us to be at our best, those are, those are the things we're going to have to be good at come Friday. Well, the final five this weekend. Up in St. Paul, the XL Energy Center coach. Appreciate the time. Best luck this week. Thanks very much. Thanks very much for having me. Appreciate it.